All right, as I start off EFC 24, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to give you guys a rundown of what I did during the web app. We had four accounts on the web app, right? Five accounts technically. One account didn't get a transfer market access. I did some objectives. The objective where you had to buy now and list players. And so I got up to a hundred uh, buy now enlisting players on all four of my accounts which gave us 7.5k coins with the 7.5k coins i got about another extra one to two k on each account and i invested all of them into uruguay brazil uh Ghana, Nigeria, essentially a lot of rare managers. So far on all of our accounts, we have about 45 to this one specifically, 58 managers on each account. What I'm trying to get is about 100K on each account. I think Brazil would definitely go to 5K, but I think Uruguay have a sneaky chance of getting like 2K to 3K. I think other than that, I don't know what I wanna do pretty sure you get a free evolution i'm going to do that for uh nunez and gravenbutch bronze one i think i'm going to do it on the sunderland bar or a liverpool player I, I i don't know yet let me show you guys what i plan to do for evolutions is it club evolutions yeah so this is what I plan to do for evolutions, yeah? For the Founders Evolution, I am going to do Nunez. Welcome to Evolution. I think I'm going to do uh, Gravenbert, I think, anyways. Pacey Protector, I'm going to do my tip. And then these two, the Golden Glow and the Relentless Winger. I think the Relentless Winger, we're going to go Jota. And for the Golden Glow, I think we're going to go for... What's his name? Uh, a Sunderland player? Or an Ipswich player? or a Liverpool player. So, oh my God, really? <sighs> yes, the service is still so bad, man. This year on FIFA, we don't have one, but two Indonesian players. And I am going to base my team around them, at least when they're able to be upgraded because Unfortunately, Bagot can't be upgraded now and Patinam also can't be upgraded now. But as soon as I can upgrade both of them, they're going to go into our team. And because of that, because Bagot is a championship player, we need championship players, right? So the best one to upgrade, in my opinion, is this guy right here from Sunderland. Where is he? Cam. Yeah. Can he? Oh, he can't play centre mid. Oh, I can't. Do I can't. Last year was a centre mid. Oh, that sucks. He can't play centre mid. Okay, the other option would be this guy right here. Uh, where is he? Humphreys, because that's a perf. That's a perfect link. That's how do I? What? Is it RT now? That is so weird. Anyways, this is the link to him. So Humphreys would give a club link to Bagot and then with Indonesian link he'll get full cam essentially so that's the nice thing right so that's one option the other one is of course Bobby Clark I think we all know him Bobby Clark Liverpool right but then the other option for the center make golden glow up bro this is the the controls is so weird man also why is that a, what is kick, 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 what is here do you not see this at the it's something's blocking shell bro. There is so many glitches in this game. It's I Hate this. I hate this company man. I hate this company with a passion man Look at that. Why why does it look so bad? This company is so annoying man My days bro. I, what is wrong with this freaking company? What is happening man? The other option I think would be this Don right here, this Yazbek Don, he looks okay, right? He looks okay. The like I would love it to be this guy, but he has 81 pace, and I'm pretty sure the max is like 70 or 75. So I can't, you know, I can't make him into a golden glow up. Whereas this guy, I think will, it will be a plus six, right? If I'm not wrong, yeah, a plus six with Michigan, which gives him a 74. So. This guy might be the one, you know. Jasbek might be the one to give Patinama his like uh, his club link, right? The only problem with that 
is that <laughs> is that we will need an Australian <laughs> when eventually I can upgrade Patina my Bug. This is how we're gonna play it, right? So Buzlai, Gravenberg, and Matip, and then and then we're gonna have four championship players. One, two, three, four, which gives everyone full cam. And then we're gonna have a Norwegian league manager, which gives him and him full cam. Now the only problem is the Australian manager, and that's it. And I think after that, right, we're gonna have a full cam team. And I know this looks weird. But trust me, bro, I am. I want to try and upgrade these th three players, definitely, man. The only problem is the goalkeeper, because I don't think there's any good championship goalkeeper. And I don't know if I want to waste an evolution on a championship goalkeeper. Like, do I want to waste... To be fair, he is like 6 foot 7 or something like that, right? He is 6 foot 5. So maybe we do go Mez Melier. We'll see, we'll see. For now, that's when we can upgrade all of them. However, I think this is what our team will look like like for the first weekend if we can't upgrade you know Bagot and Batinama. This is our this is our team. This would be our team. So uh all we need is a Bundesliga manager and I think a Portuguese manager and everyone gets full cam. That is such a good team. I know Fring Pong is expensive and I know Grimando will be expensive as well. How are you how much are you? I assume right what was happening? What? What? Let me make sure, okay? Search on transfer market. What? What is happening, bro? Okay, so he's about like... We better buy him quick, man. We better buy in, uh, get enough coins and buy him quick. Because he'll jump up in price. I know for a fact he will. Frimpong's already expensive. So we better buy Grimaldo and Frimpong quick. That will be our defending partnership. I think that's good enough. I think that... I, I'm, 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 I'm pretty excited with this, man. I think this will be our first weekend league squad, but it depends. If we can upgrade Patinama and Bagot, we will definitely use this squad. But if we can't, then I think I'm going to focus my attention into building this squad. I think I, I, I think I'm I, I think I'm think I'm I think I'm very happy with that. Yeah, I, I think I'm very happy with that. So I don't know what what I want to do now though, because we have to wait for maybe we just play. Maybe we, uh, maybe I'll play a few games. I'll, I'll be back. I I don't know if, I don't know what I want to do, but I think I'll play a few games. First game down, and we won seven three. We went three nil down, and I'll sh and I'll show you why. Look at this. They had Mary Swanson, Oshuala, Sunonis Vujovic, Jonathan, Kieran Kieran, which we had as well. Sampedora, Barella. Why is this team? Why is this team? Hakimi at the bench. Open. We, we went 3-0 there and we went 7-3. Let's go! First game! Let's go! <laughs> I forgot two things. I forgot that the music was on. And two, I forgot to show you guys what our team looks like at the start. So, this is the team that we have. All of these are first on un untradeable. Do can we show you guys? Do we have to show you guys? Okay. Because previously, we, there's like a one at the bottom if it's first owner, but yeah, everything is first owner, 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 first owner. everything's first owner. So, how we got Halilovic, I'm pretty sure I showed you guys, right? We got him from a silver pack, which is kind of crazy. So, yeah, the fact that we got her and Paqueta and Sinistera and uh, Wilson and Walsh. Like I'm very happy with the front three, the uh, front six, man. That that all of these players I'm very happy with. But. All right, so I've decided on my first evolution because Bagot is championship. We have so many other choices. Whereas the left back, it's no way. So there's one of our only chances of giving him a club link. So I think I'm going to go Yaz back. So I'm happy, and also he gets right. 85 physical, 79 defending, and 80 dribbling. Now only 74 pace, but come on, as a as a you know as as just like a link, that's not a bad link. I'll take that all day long. All right, that should be uh if I am not wrong, two games, well two wins. Yes, Beck, come on, give me that 73 pace, 74 passing. Let's go, look at that. 16 shooting, 5 pace, 14 passing. Eight overall. Let's go. And then now, this is gonna be winning three. But also, look at that. Seventy-seven dribbling, seventy-six defending, eighty-two physical. The next one will make his physical go to eighty-five. I want to see so far what is his 
What is this? Oh, come on. 95 spam, bro. Okay, how is that 82 physical? I got scammed. <laughs> but, oh my god, the dribbling is crazy. Alright, so that is our third win. That means we have an 80 rated. I think, I, I forgot his name. Mapez? I forgot his name. But that's nice. And then after that, we have to go for the golden glow up two. But I'm happy with that. So we have 4k now. I think we're going to start trading for now. Z Yazbek, sorry. Yazbek. Look at that. 73 pace, 64 shooting, 74 passing, 77 dribbling, 76 defending, and 82 physical. It's not bad. It's not amazing, but it's not bad at all. Our first evolution completed. Now, we can do this one. It's not amazing, but 74 pace. Let me, let's, see what, let's see what his cut will be like. Like... Yes, the skill moves and the weak foot is annoying because I wanted Bar. I think Bar had like three star four moves or something like that. But the fact that he can't play centre mid is, you know, scuppers our plan. But TDM centre mid with 98 stamina and 81 strength. It's not bad at all. The defending is a bit oof because of that head. Uh, like, I wanted it to be just a bit better. But again, for a starting CDM, hopefully we can upgrade him. But. That's not bad. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say it right now. That's not bad. With look at that. Not only does he have relentless physical, uh, relentless uh, playstyle, he now also has pinged pass and tiki taka. Not bad. Nice. That's not a bad hold. To be fair, does this work? I wanna see if it works. Doesn't work. All right. So we have. Gold pack premium, gold pack three common. Let's open a three common first. See if we can get anything. I doubt we can. It's a Mexico Jimenez. Hmm. A gold pack. Come on. Rare? Ah, oh, it's not. I don't think that's a rare. And Didi. Not bad. And Didi is not bad. He can link to Dewsbury Hall. So maybe if we want to in the future, we can upgrade him. Premium gold pack. Come on. Gold rare, right? Finland. Oh, it's a. Uh... Yeah, it's the 80 rated from uh, Liverpool women. Not bad, hey, it's a, it's a Liverpool player. I'll take that. Something amazing, please. Belgium. Center Mertens? I don't know how high rated he is. 81. All right, so marquee matchups did come. I thought it would not come. Mainly because we have not gotten marquee matchups on the first uh, week of FIFA for about a long time. That's for sure. So, yeah, that's a bit of, a bit of a surprising, but we completed it. So let's see what we can get. Mixed players pack. First one, we get a Tapia. No, who is this? Is it Go? Is it? No, it's Conrad Libertadores, I think. Yeah, it's Libertadores. Uh, let's open the premium gold pack. I think. What can we get? Germany center forward. Mukhtar. How much is he? He got a team of the season, right? Last year, 80. Wow, that's cool. And go prime mix place pack first. Come on, Brazil, center back. Oh, M M Reis, Reis, Reis. He's very good for SBC, so uh, that's very nice. He's probably worth like 2k, 3k because of SBC, right? Ah, he's not worth anything. <laughs> Let's start off with this one. What do we get? England! Striker! Ooh, Callum Wilson already have him, so... I mean, dupe theory <laughs> this early on. <laughs> dupe theory this early on. If we could get my tip, that would be cool. Black Stain... Black... Black Stenius. That's such a cool name. Premium <laughs> gold pack. Now, keep in mind the 3.93 because that's what we made from trading. I'll show you guys what we did. It, it's not nothing, anything amazing. Endo? It is Endo. Not bad. I'll take Endo. Yeah, this is what we have been doing, really. Uh, honestly, it's only been once, uh, one, one set of trading because before this, I literally what I did was I, I, I traded and I went to a game. So, essentially, what I did was two things, right? S uh, silver rare, anything below four hundred, I buy. So four hundred and three fifty, I buy, and then I sell them for at least four fifty. The 450 ones that pop up, sometimes I see if I can sell them for more 
and you know some of them sold like this guy i bought for 450 and sold for 700 this guy bought them for 400 sell them 500 this guy uh these ones are just silvers bronzes and argentinas that i did uh, bought for like 200 silver for 300 and then i also did bronze rare uh, spanish and then i sold them bought them for 200 sell them for 200 this is not all of them i've done some of them that uh that i uh, I, I cleared so i forgot what i did because there's there's a lot more which is why i got 3.93 right there so it's been going pretty well i would say like if i sold everything right even if all of them sell for 400 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 3.2k and if i add them to 3.9 so about 7.1k and i started this trading with about 5k so profit 2k is not bad i'll take it we have reached level 5 and uh that we have a choice between oh wow hoiberg do i go van der Sun? Nah, I'm going home. So we had the choice between uh, an 84 times 80 times 10 and an 84 times 2. And as you guys can see, we chose the 80 times 10. However, because we have five accounts, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose differently on each account. I think I'm going to do 380 times 10 and 284 times 2. See if it's worth it or not. So yeah, let's see what we can get. Uh, gold pack and then let's go open the gold vfx pack first the gold pack imagine if we get like a uh, a war card in this one brazil center back boom oh bremer is that or is that danilo that's danilo okay all right i mean he can play right back or center back so that's useful for sbcs it's not bad 80 times 10 please Portugal, center back, Ruben Diaz, Ruben Diaz. Whoa, that's cool. All right, how the how? Okay, he's 62 pace though. Do we get another walkout? Oh, we only get one walkout. Yeah, we only get one walkout. All right, I mean, it's not bad. Not amazing though, Ruben Diaz. Hopefully, we get something uh, like meta inside. <gasps> Darwin, Darwin, <laughs> We got Nunes, nice, nice. We got Nunes, 23k, you know. In Inaki Williams as well, and Danso as well. That was definitely, I would say that's worth it, man. Oh, this guy, this guy looks good. 4-4 four, four as well, not bad to be fair. We could try Ruben Diaz, Bruiser. I'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. But yes, let's go. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy right now. Let's go. Whoa, I got Lautaro Martinez from a preview pack. Wait, 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 wait. How much are you? Is it worth it to buy him? Is it worth it to buy the pack? Do we do we just try and get the pack? I think it definitely is, right? Because the, the, the rest easily amounts to at least 500 coins. And if we can sell for 6.7k at least, right? That's already a dub. <laughs> Okay, this is going to be this the first evolution of uh, Golden Glow Up 2 and then we're going to do this one and then we're going to do this one. That's going to be ending. I mean like come on. That is such I mean if it was like 78 pace that would be such a good card, but the 74 pace kind of lets it down though. But like I'm still happy man. Against Patinama uh Club Cam, I'm happy with that. And then the Tiki Taka still. The Tiki Taka, right? The only th the reason why I love it is because look at it. Executes difficult first game ground passes with high accuracy. So when so when like uh, You pass it right to him. He can immediately just pass it without touching the ball Which just makes it so nice and then it will be more accurate as well. Oh, I love it I love it. All right, so I'm gonna start I think because I'm gonna end uh, the the Yazbek for now, I'm gonna do Nunes for now. So let's see what we can do with Nunes uh, it's literally just win six games, so I think this is going to be quick. So I'm gonna, I'm happy with that. I mean, come on, bro. 93 pace, 84 shooting, 79 dribbling, and 88 physical. Four star weak foot. <laughs> no nerves. Uh, I'm going to end off this video with the evolution from Nunes. I'm gonna complete this evolution, so I'm gonna play four more games. Well, hopefully win four more times, as we get plus one overall plus three pace plus three shoot from Nunes and then we're gonna get a weak foot physical and triple oh it took way way longer than it, I, it should have but we have completed him 79 dribbling oh look 
those stats. Look at those stats, bro. Oh. Three, two, one. A bang. A boom. The hunter's gone. I mean, I guess that's not bad. I would change him to the engine play cell. Anyways, I want to show you guys what I've been doing for transfer lists in between uh, the time of me uh, playing the games. Well, as you guys can probably tell, shadow trading. So at first, I started off with just buying silver rares, as you guys can see, right? Silver rares, I bought them for... 300 350 450 like and then i'm selling them off for 500 just little coins at the start to go from like 2k to 5k to 10k and then as soon as i got 10k i immediately jumped off into trading for shadows uh, shadow cards right at the moment well at, at the last time i checked it hasn't been good but it is 12 a.m so a lot more people just got onto the game so maybe it's good now okay it's a there's a lot more now if i can get a constant flow of cards being popped up right i might just sit here for a few minutes until i exhaust my coins and then call it a day after that but for now it just popped up we might do it i think we're gonna do it it looks like the shadow cam style is finally finally populated all right i'll be here uh for now um this is goodbye but for me, I'm going to exhaust at 24k and turn them into probably around 8 to 12 cards. So yeah, see you guys next time.